If you made a mistake of importing a device to the wrong entity, you can transfer it manually or even automatically. Let's imagine you have IP ranges for every entity, or if you have different serial numbers to your computers that are from each entity, or even if you have a default, a standard naming to your computers and devices, and you want it to be automatically transferred between entities. Let's dive into the business rules to transfer computers between entities. GLPI has rules and all of these rules are made to automate tasks that are made on a daily basis or more than once on a day. So here you can see on administration rules, we have a lot of them. And for this video, we are just looking into the rules for assigning an item to an entity. If you have done your inventory and maybe some of your computers are not in the correct entity, you can move them manually and I'm going to show you right now. But also you can automate it for the next tasks for the next inventories or every time you buy new new computers to your organization you can standardize the names the ip ranges and every time you insert a computer in your network you are going to have your inventory automatically inventoried and updated first of all let's take a look at these computers let's imagine that this server 01 had to be in another entity not on demonstration so we can select it or even inside the server we can go to actions and click on add to transfer list but let's come back and do it let's imagine that we have more than one so, so server one and two are on a different entity you can select the action here add to transfer list click on add and here you have the transfer mode you can create new transfer modes but in this situation we want the complete information to be transferred to other entities so this is the default transfer mode that we have created and we can just change it here for for example the branding entity in this scenario we are going to have all of those computers that i've that i've selected server one and two to the branding entity so this is the manual version of transferring computers between entities and you can do this to all of these assets so if you come here to global for example you can transfer any of these assets to between entities so let's come back to the rules i have i have created already some of, of the rules that i want to have when new computers are imported to my glpi instance so for example every computer that have these criteria and i'm going to explain you the rule so this is just a name and a description where you can type for other persons to understand what this rule is meant for the logical operator is a place where you define the boolean logics so every time you have more than one criteria if you select and all of the criteria that you put here needs to be true to the action to happen every time you put or on your logical operator any time that one or more than one of these criteria is matched the action will be done so in this scenario i have different criteria and some of these criteria are conflicting so for example i have serial number and serial number so never ever a uh, device will have different serial numbers it shouldn't so in this scenario i'm using the logical operator or and the criteria are if the equipment name starts with bra which should be the standard name for devices in this branch in this entity or every time the ip address contains this part of the address or the serial number is this or the equipment name is aramis or the serial number is this the actions are set the entity to brazil branch and the location to igrejinha which is the city where i live in as you can see here we have other criteria as you i've used some that means something to my entity so you have to make sure you have this mapped out on your organization and understand if you have for example default ip ranges if you have default naming to your assets if you have inventory tags to your assets 
if you have subnets to your devices if you put comments on the operating system all of these are criteria that can be used to automatically import your devices to the correct entity so in the actions we can also find some actions that are for example take the entity from tag refuse the import set the child entities to yes or no you can search and you can test on your organization because there are no rules for every organization you need to make sure that this criteria and actions make sense to your organization and you can create more than one rule i have just one here because it just makes sense to have one rule but i can create more here so and let's run an inventory the remote inventory on my network and let's make sure that it is being imported to the correct entity so once the task is done the inventory task is done i come back to computers and, and as i can see here i have two new computers which is the aramis remember the first rule if the name is aramis and the ours also a survey red hat which is here because the network is uh, one of the network devices has these IP address. So in this scenario, I have two servers inserted to the entity Brazil branch and also the location Igrejinha, which is my city. And as you can see here, we have another thing that is already set. In the computer group in charge, I've set facilities. And this is another engine rule, which is in here business rules for assets but this is probably a subject for another video i just set the responsible for computers and the difference between this and the other engine rule is that this engine rule can can also be ran in add and update tasks not just for adding the other rule that we have set before for assigning an item to an entity is just when you are importing a device so every time you update it or it or the device is updated again from the agent for example it will not take in place these rules it is just for new computers that computers that are not in your glpi yet and also the two engines have different criterias and cr different actions and i will also let you with three tips on to correctly standardizing your import of devices for example naming your devices when you are providing them to your server to your users is a good way to make sure that the rules are set in place other thing is to have ip ranges for your entities if you have different entities and you can create vlans or ip ranges for different entities this is a good practice to make sure that that the import is being done correctly and for sure this is not that easy but you can add all of the serial numbers of your devices into your rules and every time the serial number from that entity is imported you can make sure that it is going to be on the correct entity automating tasks in glpi is easy and it makes your life easier